Later? Hello, Tinkerbell. The vision tells me you were back in the field. Is that what you need? Yes, 30 yards of dental floss garrot wire, a 12-ball pump-action stapler, and a five-pound bag of your finest stun potatoes. Oh, and the scuba trousers, black, high cut. You've been away a long time, mate. Here, your 4929. Ingenious. What is it? It's a Barclay card, Latham. Yes. And? Over here. Ah, the mission. No, no, the places that take Barclay card. Sign here. A Barclay card? It's all you need, Latham. Sorry, old stock. Back way out, please. This crime doesn't pay. The bigger they are, boss, the harder they fall. I'm thinking of buying a house, sir. On your salary, boss. And how do you intend to pay for it? With your Barclay card? Well, funnily enough, sir, you could get up to 1,500 pounds back from Barclay card with a new Barclays mortgage. 1,500 pounds, eh? Well, Belgravia beckons, boss. I think it's a good offer, sir. Just leave the thinking to me. Uh -huh. Well, Boff, I think we can safely say that this place will be on the market soon. I wouldn't move if I were you, sir. <laughs> I have no intention of moving, Boff. You're the one who's been wittering on about mortgages. Right, let's get out of here. <laughs> Tradition has it, a powerful aid to fertility. Great! I'll get me mum one. The Barclay card, put it away, boff. The Tuareg are an ancient people. They respect only hard cash and hard bargaining. Ah, Shamali, duck duck. Thank you. You sound fluent, sir? We are both fluent, boff. Sadly, in different languages. How much is the rug? Right. <laughs> so, where did your Barclay card get you? Well, it got me reg insured for the next three months. Insurance, Boff. I think I can handle the rug. Ah, smell those Tuareg campfires. Unmistakable. Look, shoot! Push off! Sir. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. A very impressive turnout. In fact, the only person I can't see here is the ambassador. Ah, that's better. What the devil do you think you're playing at, Latham? I was about to ask you the same question, ambassador. Yesterday, you collected rather a lot of money from this man, and today we hear you are to meet a courier in this very embassy. That, ambassador, is the behavior pattern of a mole. It is the behavior pattern of a man who has lost his Barclay card. First they send emergency cash, then a replacement card. Oh, come on, Mr. Moley. Sir. Yes, Bob, let him in, the more the merrier. A Barclay card to Moscow. And how do they do that, pray? By motorcycle messenger? Thank you, Sir Wilford, for taking part in our training exercise. Realism is obviously of paramount importance. Come on, Bob, untie Sir Wilford. <laughs> Thank you, Ambassador. Night, Jim. Thank you. Hey! My name is Renescu. Ah, good man. Just get him to move, sir. I'll do it, boss. Did you make a phone call, sir? I had a word with the ambassador, yes. I phoned Barclay Card, sir. No, oh, please. International Rescue, sir. They got me a lawyer. Sorry! An English speaking lawyer, sir. Well, I'm being seen personally by the Minister of Justice. Can I help you? Ooh, dry white wine, please. I'm afraid the bars are closed. Bye. Still no answer, sir. Right, Boff. We're going in. Uh, Wendy! Snape. 
fight. Right, Bob, you listen to his clothing, I'll get the local doctor. Old medical, Akiperto. How buying, Arior? Blast. What is it, sir? Apparently, he is the local doctor. That's enough loosening now, Boff. We're looking for his Barclay card, sir. His Barclay card? This man's in no state to go shopping. Oh. I'm going to phone him up for medical advice, sir. You're going to phone Barclay card for medical advice? Barclay card International Rescue, sir. They can send doctors Look, and... We're wasting time here, Boff. This man has a serious case of snake bite, and there's only one thing that's going to save him. I'm going to have to locate the wound and suck out the poison. Yes, actually, I think perhaps you better phone Barclay. Oh, Boff, I'm not sure I've got there. You know, my lips were a little... But, uh, well, I thought I had a solution to bell. Is that your real status? Condition green. Yes, sir, Brian. Ah, excellent work, Latham. Sir? It's your mum, sir. Hello, mother. Our man in Shanghai. Of course I remembered. Happy birthday. Flowers. You haven't got them yet? Uh, they them. Uh, green. Daffodils or tulips, sir? Uh, tulips. The mother, I'm a little... Sir, what colour, sir? Sector C. What? Status. Yes, the mother, I know. Latham. She needs to know what colour tulips, sir. Sector C. Status. Red, you idiot. Red. This is an emergency. Go, go, go! Yes, mother. Yes. I love you too. We were at Cambridge together. Woo Single to Dover, please. This is it, sir. Excellent. Nine minutes then. Nice pair of binoculars, sir. Mm -hmm. They're uh, not service issue. Certainly not. They're Austrian. Mm. Barclay card, is it, sir? What? Did you get them on your Barclay card, sir? And why should I want to do a thing like that? Well, sir, you get a hundred days free insurance. Yes. Well, in case... In case they get stolen. And who's going to steal them, exactly? Are we about to be mugged by a gang of delinquent haddock? You could always lose them, sir. Lose them in a five-foot dinghy? Oh, dear, I've lost my binoculars. Oh, no, there they are under the seat. You got your damage, sir? But will you shut up about Barclay card, Bob? You couldn't damage a pair of binoculars in here if you tried. So, let's hear no more about Barclay Card. You see, a man of my experience knows that when he's got a pair of binoculars... Clean as a whistle, sir. Let me be the judge of that, Buff. It's not every day that MI7 lands a fish as big as this. Suffice to say, I should be welcoming him to the West. <sighs> sort that out, please. I'll use Barclay Card. I said fix the lavatory, boff, not book tickets for the opera. No, sir. Barclay Card assist. They'll send an approved plumber round. Oh, yes. A week next Tuesday. I don't know the things I have to do for my country. Mr. Russ. He's here, sir. Scarcely worth your coming, really. There's just a bit of finishing off to do. But, sir. Go on, get on with it. Barclay Card. Didn't look much like a plumber to me. Oh. Mr. Boff? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just... What's his name, Mr. Latham? Economic advisor to the UN. Oh. Sir, this is Dr. Ledlow. You driver, take the lumber job up the limo of the Bumpy Humble. You must be Richard Latham. Yes. Hey, I'll take that. I don't think so. Crime is rife in the city, Dr. Lovely. So, how to outwit the thieves. Boff, you go to the airport. I'll stay here and guard the shopping. Outside the door. Outside the door of the wardrobe, yes. In case they come through the window. On the 33rd floor, sir. Oh, yes. I'm going to have a lie down. Ha! Ah, this is the place. So, you'll be lying here. The shopping will be here. The best place for me, I think, is here. Good. Didn't you buy these on your Barclay card? Yes, well, I... they're automatically insured. Sir! Hmm? The shopping's covered, sir. Thank you, Barclay Card! Down there! Gentlemen! Pat 
perfect timing. What are you doing? Calling me mum, sir. She gets worried. Buff, you are 27 and an agent of Her Majesty. It's not me she's worried about. Besides which, you do not make personal calls on a departmental mobile. No, sir, it's my own. Sell that digital. It's a Barclay card exclusive. Ha! <laughs> Expensive, I believe the term is. Not at all. With Barclay card, you pay a lot less than the normal sell that rates. Perhaps that's because anything you have to say, Buff, is a lot less important. Shall we? Call 0800 492929. So there's no better way of serving your queen and country than to choose a career in MI7. Are there any questions? Yes. What's the financial package? Financial package? You do get issued with the Barclay card, sir. Off. Oh, yeah. With Barclay card, can't you get medical help abroad? And legal advice. And some sort of purchase insurance. Uh, yes, both at home and abroad. Off. These people will have to survive in locations rather more dangerous than a record shop. Uh, can I ask about Eastern Europe? Ah, yes. Do they take Barclay card? Uh, well, most countries actually take... I remember <laughs> when all an agent had was his charm, his cunning, and if he was lucky... A barrow? No, ordinary biro. Two clicks of a cap, and it will render any assailant immobile. Very dangerous in the wrong hands. <coughs> Take over for a boff, would you, moment? Well, Barclay card is widely accepted. In fact, you can use it in over 200 countries around. Sir? Of course, Bob. Enough in the whip round then. Seventy-five pounds and fourteen p. Fourteen p? You put that in? Don't suppose you bought it with your uh, with my Barclay card? Oh yes, obviously. Bob, I had them in the envelope stuffed with cash, and so naturally I used Barclay card. It would have been insured against loss or damage. Bob. This is the wedding of the daughter of the head of MI7. Well, there are four men on the roof, two in the choir, and the vicar has no previous convictions. I think that's ample insurance for a china teapot. May I congratulate you on your new appointment? Sit down, Latham. Ah, Eduardo the Eel Valesquez. Twice you've let him slip from your grasp. In my view, Latham, nobody could be that incompetent. Which leads me to suspect that you could be in league with the enemy. Failed to catch him again and, well, you know how we deal with traitors. But I, I, I never... Dismissed. There he is, Bob. Time to reel in the eel. How, sir? With a combination of natural genius and high tensile steel. Come on! Good afternoon. Mr. Valesquez! We meet again! I think you'll enjoy this. <laughs> so, boss, is it Latham or isn't it? No, ma'am. It couldn't possibly be. Let's go, let's go. 